Uh... Hi, today's just going to be a really quick video because you might have noticed I've been really really busy lately. Everything from classes to work to love life has just exploded into one giant mass. A very exciting mass, but a very hectic and stressful mass. Uh... The last film that I saw in cinemas was Killing Them Softly, which is the latest Brad Pitt film. Um, and like you, Nicole, I really don't have much to say. It was quite good. I recommend seeing it for how it's filmed. The visuals and the camera movements were pretty fantastic. There was one point in this film when the camera must have been placed on a car door and as the character gets out the um, camera swings back and I did sit forward in my seat and do a little bit of a cinematography appreciation dance. Other than that I thought I'd talk to you about a couple of my favourite films and we'll start off with what I think is the best film in existence. Beetlejuice. It's no secret that I am a really big Tim Burton fan. Recently though I've personally been quite disappointed by his films like Alice in Wonderland, Dark Shadows wasn't brilliant, but Beetlejuice and Edward Scissorhands are my go-to proper good old school Tim Burton films where you've got amazing sort of animation, characterization and they're just hilariously funny. So yeah, do it, watch it. A second favourite of mine is a lesser known film called um, The Night of the Hunter which was made in 1955 I believe and it's a black and white film starring Robert Mitchum about a priest who has love and hate tattooed on his knuckles trying to get his hands on a stash of stolen money um, that is being held by two young children and it's them trying to get away from him and it's really quite sinister and disturbing when you get into it which I really really enjoyed. One last thing is that I've been seeing around the tube stations in London posters for a film called Untouchable which is a French film that I had the pleasure of seeing over the summer and is absolutely fantastic. I suppose it must be coming out in an English translation soon which is why they are advertising it. I usually don't go for French films which is really really bad but this one was fantastic and I think Gail will agree with me on that one. So yeah, see Killing Them Softly if you want to see good visual camera stuff. See The Untouchables because it's good and see Beetlejuice if you haven't already. Where have you been living if you haven't seen Beetlejuice? Okay, anyway, I've got to go. I will see you guys soon.